England are actually on top of the uh, World Rugby Rankings for the first time in 15 years. With their victory over New Zealand last weekend ahead of what is arguably the biggest week in the team's history. The 19-7 win on uh, Saturday uh, night was not only enough to see Eddie Jones' side move top of the ranking system for the first time under the Australian, but it is also one that saw the All Blacks drop to third behind the Springboks, their joint worst ranking of all time on top of their demotion earlier this year and the 2003 uh, post uh, World Cup um, slump. Now England have not topped the World uh, Cup ranking since the initial run as number ones when they were created a month before the 2003 World Cup with the All Blacks replacing them at the top of the tree in June the following year and Jones's side becoming the fourth different team to sit in first place this calendar year following New Zealand, Wales and Ireland. And if you take a look at it, England tops at number one uh, and at number five you have Ireland right there. So it is actually a big story, whether you like it or not. And on Plus Sports, let's look at it categorically. Ini, let's focus on the fact that they have made it to the finals. November 2nd, which is this Saturday in particular, they will be going head to head, of course. You know what it is with South Africa. It is going to be a very big one. It happened uh, some years back and South Africa actually had uh, all the win. But this time, England are looking forward to make sure they claim this one. Absolutely. It's great to see England bounce back in the way they've done, you know, in, in previous competitions you know you look at the Lions and you're thinking not quite sure even with an amalgam of quality players going into big tournaments and they won't celebrate the small victory I mean getting top of the ranking they'll celebrate the small victory but they would they would give an arm and leg for, for the final <laughs> against South Africa because it's massive they really want to take their pound of flesh 12 years ago South Africa had the upper hand and I do have a feeling the Lions are really up for this one. They, they do look like they're really up for this one. And against New Zealand in the, in the semi-final, against all the odds, the English team came out, showed real quality. But my real worry about them is, have they played the best game ever? Have they mm. played the final before the final? They played so well against, against, um, against um, um, New Zealand. The All Blacks, and, and you wonder sometimes teams go in the semi-final and pull out all the stops, show all the quality, and in the final they don't show up. That's the real doubt for them because mm -hmm. scraping through, getting into the semi-final, and then beating the, the overwhelming favourite and getting into the final against a South African team who are getting better and better in the tournament, they're playing better and better, showed real aggression. Um, the, the coach Casey was talking about the fact that in the final they'll keep going doing what they, it wouldn't be pretty it would be about what they like to do confrontational mm. energy arrogance real real physicality and it, it would be tough but but the English are absolutely celebrating it I, I could agree to that. Well, this Saturday will actually tell it all if it will go their way, that is Eddie Jones's side, or it wouldn't.